A man carrying a kitchen knife is shot dead by Omaha police. This is breaking news we continue to track out of West Omaha. Police have released new information about what happened just south of 165th and West Maple Road just before 10 this morning. They encountered a man armed with a knife. Police tell us 31 year old Joshua Beebe charged officers with a knife and then an officer fired his weapon. Chase Moffitt has more from the scene. Matt, we're live here at 165th and Center where the investigation continues. While the active crime scene itself uh, has since dwindled down tremendously since we've been here earlier this morning, um, what we do know now is that officers continue to piece together details of what led up to this. Police say they shot the man who was armed, BB, who was armed with a large knife in the open field and it was next to a populated area. Again, his name is Joshua Beebe. He's 31 years old. He was rushed to the hospital where he died about 1030 this morning. CPR in progress. You can see life-saving efforts being performed on a suspect as he's being prepped and then loaded into an ambulance before rushed to Nebraska Medicine with critical injuries. Officers arrived. Uh, there was a short foot pursuit of the suspect. Uh, an altercation took place and shots were fired. Investigators tell us two different calls were made to the area with reports that there was a suspect in red pajamas standing in this field armed with a butcher knife. We spoke with several witnesses who told us this morning at 165th and Maple, they saw the man out wandering in the median as early as 7.30, 8 o'clock. Initial radio reports indicated that shortly after officers made contact with the suspect this morning, just before 10 o'clock, one asked if any other officers on scene had a taser. Then the call came out that shots had been fired. We're still gathering uh, evidence and witness statements uh, so we can put it all together. With a business park in clear view of the scene, workers gathered out back, rattled by what had played out in front of them Friday. Oh, I came outside to my car and I just heard the, um, the cop cars and stuff and saw the lights over there. And um, when I went back in, I, we went out, looked out the back window and saw the guy the cops doing CPR on the guy. And really on the alert and uh, it is kind of scary when you see something like this, especially when there's a shooting. Kathy Hepfinger lives just across the street from the field where officers opened fire. After recently joining the neighborhood watch group, she's thankful multiple people called 911. We're always on the alert around here because there's been some activity lately that's been going on and, and uh, that's why I belong to the neighborhood watch. So we really keep an eye out. Now, police say seven people witnesses, two pieces of video, one from a police cruiser and another from a witness cell phone. You can see as we take a shot here of that business district there. Earlier this morning, we saw several people out behind there. One of those, obviously, with a piece of cell phone video Omaha police have used in this investigation. Now, over to the right of that is a heavily populated apartment complex. Now, officers said in their release, according to Omaha police, they were concerned that BB may be headed that way. So that's why an uh, Omaha police officer used his cruiser to cut off BB as he was running away from officers. Jessica and Matt. Hayes, hey, so do we know much more about the kind of knife that that man had on him? Yeah, Omaha police say it was an 11 inch kitchen knife. It was uh, recovered and that will also be used in the grand jury investigation now underway. All right, Chase Moth reporting live. We are showing you the picture right now. This is Joshua Beebe. This is the man that police say was shot and killed after holding a knife and refusing to follow commands. We'll have more on this story coming up at the top of our next half hour.